Incorporated in 1980, Chi Limited is a market leader in the food and beverage sector in Nigeria. Each of its product offerings within the juice and dairy beverage and snacks categories in which it operates at category leaders which are loved for their great taste and high quality nutrition. With its ISO 22000 certified state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, Chi deploys advanced processing and packaging technology in making all its products. Chi has established footprints in urban and rural Nigeria through a large network of depot operations across the country. In addition, Chi prides itself as being one of the few fast-moving consumer goods companies who exports quality food and beverage products to other African countries. Its passion for excellence and commitment to sustainable development is exemplified in its continuous efforts to provide the best food and beverage to its consumers. Through its continuous investment in manufacturing and related infrastructure projects, Chi currently provides direct employment to about 4,500 people and indirect employment to over 112,500 people through its robust value chain. I spoke with Mr. Israel Danelta virtually on what has kept the company going after four decades in business and, of course, the initiatives carried out to help communities around them. Well, I could tell you that um, resilience in the face of competitiveness, um, perseverance in, in the face of so many different types of challenges, consistency, which has helped to grow the brand has been there for us. And this has also helped us to build awareness amongst our com um, um, consumers. And we also have very highly skilled leadership, which is very important in leading the company and driving the company to where it is going to. We have very humble leaders, very wonderful leaders who have kept the vision of where the company wants to go to. And we have the culture of discipline. The discipline in, in, in Chi has made everyone to really walk towards engaging themselves in doing what they're doing and doing it best. And um, this comes within also the framework of um, some certain responsibilities that are given to people in, in the area of leadership and how they will lead well in their various capacities in the company. We have also been very, very proactive in what we do. We always have a business continuity plan to ensure that anything that happens in the case of them, unplanned disruptions, we have something to fall back to so that our consumers will not feel any gaps in, in terms of what we are providing for them. And we have also had, of course, regulatory support by government agencies that are saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that we are doing the right thing. We work wonderfully with them they have also encouraged us in so many ways and leading us properly to where we're getting to within the framework of the regulations regulating what we do. And um, importantly too, we have the right people in the, in the bus. You see, if you don't have the right men in the bus, you're not going to go anywhere. And our staff have really, really been wonderful people, people who are dedicated without whom she would not be where it is today. That's what has kept us going for 40 years. Okay, now and tell us know. about the people, I mean, your consumers this time. Tell us those areas most impacted when you carry out your corporate social responsibility initiatives. Uh, well, the most people impacted, honestly, are the young people, the children and the young people. Those are the most impacted, children and the young people. These initiatives that help you make sure this impact is felt on these category of people? Oh, very well. We have what we call the Hollandia Nurture a Child Initiative, which is geared towards um, bringing nutrition close to children, especially people who are in their need, people who probably they would, can't afford this product, people who maybe get to know about these products or get to taste them maybe during occasions alone. We have, we have done a lot with so many groups of people from orphanages to um, old people's homes, so many other groups of people, different slums, Ogba, Igbara, so many other places that we have worked with people in the slum to ensure that um, 
they have a feel of what we are doing and to ensure that um, we donate nutritious Hollandia evaporated milk and the yogurt products to the children. And this we have also even extended during the COVID-19, we extended it to key government um, offices, including COVID facilities and those people who are working in the forefront of uh, prevention of COVID from spreading. We have worked with them in the past to ensure that everything is going on very fine and to give them the kind of support we need to give them. But most especially, we, um, the target is for children and the young people bring nutrition, the needed nutrition in the society, especially during COVID-19 where these this nutrition, these vitamins are really needed in our bodies to protect us against COVID-19. And are there other projects you've done probably for community and agriculture and any other sector that you have been able to make an impact on? Yeah, indeed. We, we have done in the place of scholarships. We have given a couple of scholarships out there to people who are in need. In fact, it's a places I don't want to, to mention names here. We have given scholarship. We are giving the scholarship continuously and every year to a number of people, to those people who have um, shown seriousness in pushing the education that they are um, pursuing to say to it that we follow up with the scholarship up to the end. And then the agriculture, we, we have had programs um, what we call the backward integration program with the support of the Central Bank of Nigeria and in collaboration with the United States government to ensure that we start some kind of farm. The Niger State government was able to give us 4,000 hectares of um, land, which we are bringing herders to come to the land and settle there. And we grow pasture to give them so that it will now reduce the movement of herders to different locations and subsequently also reduce the number of clashes between farmers and herders to produce milk there. And then we'll buy this milk and bring them back to the factory. And then we produce our yogurts and milk. In the area of, um, and then this we know is going to also boost um, employment, especially in Niger State. We're already engaging a lot of people in Niger State to work for us on the farms to see that this backwards integration program is fully achieved and Central Bank and the United States government have also been very, very supportive in this regard. We have also um, improved in the technology we use in packaging so that the environment, we use materials that are environmentally friendly and reducing thereby, um, you know, waste products that will affect the environment in different ways. So we ensure that our, our packaging products are very, very good and we can be recycled in the future. All right, so let's talk about the challenges faced by industries like yours. What can be done better? Um, I would say that honestly, there are uh, just some challenges like um, bad roads. You know, the bad roads, if you have bad roads, it means that your product is not able to go very far or quickly within the time frame with which you want them to get to your consumers. So if the government can do something about the bad roads, it's going to help us a lot in improving our services to our consumers. Another problem is that of the congestion in the ports. The ports are very, very congested. We just wish that if um, in the future, other ports outside of Lagos can, can be dredged so that you have enough capacity in other ports outside of Lagos to accommodate very, very big vessels that are bringing machinery equipments for the use of manufacturers. That will go a long way to also help. And most especially too, the issue of power has been very, very problematic. Power has been a problem in this country, especially for manufacturers. You see a situation where um, manufacturers are using diesel, LPFO, gas, and running their plants. They will hardly rely on the supplies by um, the distribution companies because it's not there. So if we can improve on power supply, 
to manufacturers, I think it's going to go a long way to reduce the cost of production. And if the cost of production is reduced, that also means that the prices of goods and commodities in the markets are going to go down fairly well. So if that is also worked on, it's, it's going to help us a lot. And then, you know, there are issues with also Forex. Um, Forex has been some issue. We understand what is happening. The central bank is doing its best, but that has also been a problem. But in all of this, you see, I see a wonderful and um, bright um, economy for Nigeria. I mean, it's a very big country with very good GDP. I see that um, things are going to go well in the future. If, if things are, are done very well, manufacturing is going to go well. The economy is going to move faster in terms of growth. All right. So talking but about the future. Yes, so talking about the future now, since you have mentioned it, what are your own plans for the future in terms of improving your business and, of course, helping those around you, widening your corporate social responsibility nets to help more people around you? Our plan is to continuously engage with our internal and external stakeholders, departments, to work on improving the quality of our products, and also the expertise of our staff. We want to be sure that our consumers are getting the best. We want, to, we want to be the best in class in what we do. We want to ensure that what goes out to the consumer there is very good, not just good taste, but also nutritious for our body. And that has been our aims, that has been our target. That is what we have tried all this work to continue to do. And that is why we are on top of what we are doing. And in terms of um, helping those around us, we will continue doing, particularly giving our products to children that really need those nutrition, those places, those people out there who cannot even afford to buy these products. We want to continue continuously reach out to them to see to it that they get these products they take it for free, thereby improving their well-being and their health too. And that's what we're going to do under the Hollandia Nurture a Child Initiative, which is based, basically um, started to address the challenges of malnutrition among Nigerian children. And also, of course, the overall well-being of, of the children who are young people. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks a lot for your time. On I truly appreciate it. Thank welcome. you so much. I appreciate this. Yeah. Have a great day.